everyone, Carly here back with another Monday review. So this week, I really wanted to review something drugstore because a lot of you guys have mentioned recently that you like that we talk about drugstore makeup and high-end. And I feel like we are going to be doing like the Sephora sale soon. I'm probably buying a lot of things there. And we do, you know, now that we're like older, definitely gravitate towards like higher-end makeup. But we love the drugstore. So when we find things that we really love at the drugstore, we definitely want to tell you about them. So today I'm reviewing the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Ultra Matte Lipstick. So let's get into the review. So CoverGirl actually recently sent us these and we had never heard of them, which is weird because even though we don't exclusively buy drugstore makeup, we like constantly are checking Ulta and like Target.com. We go to Target once a week. We shop on Amazon a lot for makeup. Um, and especially CoverGirl, they're one of like our favorite, have always been one of our favorite brands. We both um, buy the brow pencils from them. So it was weird that we didn't know about these lipsticks. So then I was like, were these new? But after doing more research, I think that they came out around this time last year. Um, and they launched with the Exhibitionist Mascara. So it might have even been... No, I think it was 2020. I don't think it was 2019. But either way, I had to find more about them because, spoiler, I love this formula. And I think right now they're only available on Amazon. I couldn't find them at Ulta.com. Um, maybe they're at Target, but I, I don't think I saw them there. But Amazon's always the cheapest when it comes to drugstore makeup. Britt and I have found that whenever we like find something on Target or Ulta, if they have it on Amazon um, and it's like actually the brand, it's always like usually a dollar cheaper. So we usually buy there anyways. So right now on Amazon, there are 12 shades and it's $7.23 currently when I'm filming this video, um, which is so affordable, like $7 for a lipstick. It's very affordable. And they sent us three shades. So the one I'm wearing is 678, which is Sweeten Up. And I would describe this as like a cooler toned red with like a lot of pink undertones. Like I think that there are some reds that are, you know, more yellow base, more orange base. And those are kind of like the warm, like fiery reds. And then there's like your classic red, which is more of like a blue base red. But this does have a lot of like pink in it. So it's not just like a standard blue base red. Like the pink kind of adds like vibrancy, I want to say. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's a really beautiful red. It's my favorite of the ones they sent us. Then they sent us um, shade 675, which is called All A Buzz. And this is like a true orange. I don't even know if I would call this an orange red. Um, I feel like this is a true orange. I will swatch it right now. It's a bright orange. It's definitely not like a muted orange. It's not like a pumpkin orange. Like it is pretty vibrant and it would be really pretty in the summertime. And then the last one they sent us is 715 Jam Packed. And I'm going to be honest, I really don't like this shade. I thought it was going to be more of like a berry, but when you swatch it, it's just like a dark purple. I don't know who that would look good on. <laughs> and I'll get into the shades. Um, but yeah, this one is a no for me. So I've worn both the orange and the red. The red is my favorite, so that's what I have on today. And I'm going to read a bit about the formula and then go into like my thoughts on it. So this is all on Amazon because like I said, I couldn't find it on Ulta. So it says this lightweight matte lipstick doesn't just add rich color. It also instantly increases lip moisture by up to 40%. So you can feel as beautiful as you are. Enjoy the wonders of a hydrating, no budge formula without cracking or flaking. Best of all, this lipstick is transfer proof and waterproof. So I think like what they're getting at here is that this doesn't budge and doesn't transfer, but it's also like comfortable. Um, and I will agree with that. I feel like the thing that impressed me the most about this is that it's definitely a matte lipstick. So if you really can't stand matte lipsticks, I don't think you'd like this. But of all the matte lipsticks I have, it really does feel comfortable. Like it doesn't feel like it's dry. Like it still has, I don't know if you can tell, but when I put my lips together, it like catches a bit where it feels like there's some sort of like moisture happening. Even though 
I don't want to say it's hydrating because I do not think it is. I don't believe in that claim. This lipstick is a matte lipstick, so it doesn't feel hydrating, but it feels like it has something where it's not like fully locked down and fully dry and matte. Like it has that like give to it, if that makes sense. And I've had this on for probably like two hours now, and I can like show you the transfer. So it's super, super minimal at this stage. It's like... I mean, I would almost call it transfer proof, but there is a little bit, you know, that comes off. So I don't want to say it's like 100% transfer proof, but it's very, very minimal, which again, I feel like is because it has that little bit of like a, like, not hydrating, but it's just not flat matte, not super dry. When it goes on, it really is very creamy, almost to the point that it's a little hard to apply. You'll see in the clip that I'm applying the red shade. And it's so creamy and just glides on like so effortlessly that you do have to be careful because it is so pigmented. So you just have to really like, you know, pay attention, be precise. Um, but I do find that you get a good amount of playtime. You'll see in the clip that I kind of like start to blend it in with my fingers because it does have that creamy texture when it's first applied. So you can manipulate the product with your fingers and sort of like move it around, blend it in. You can like rub your lips together. It really does have movement when you first apply it, which is so nice for a matte lipstick. It doesn't dry down super fast, so you do really have time to work with it. And even though, like I will say, it has, um, it is a slimline lipstick component, so it is a pretty small bullet. It's not super hard to apply but I do wish that maybe it was like a pointed bullet or something to make it a little easier to apply just because it is such high impact color and creamy um and so having like a different shaped bullet would make it a bit easier but overall not that hard to apply and goes on so easily and then at first when you have it on your lips I feel like it does feel slightly hydrating like when it first goes on like I said it's creamy but after probably like 10 minutes it does like set down to like more of a traditional matte lipstick but as i mentioned i sound like a broken record but it is comfortable like i do not feel like i have this like drying product on my lips or that it's like sucking the life out of my lips and even like looking at myself i wouldn't say that my lips look dry like it's not settling into like my lip lines like i just feel like it looks so good <laughs> It looks so good. It looks so even. Like I said, it doesn't transfer a lot. And I'm just so impressed. I feel like this feels like a high-end lipstick. And then to come and find out that these aren't even new, that they've been around. Like, I feel like no one talks about these. And I will say, I think I know why. <laughs> I think it's because the shade range is really poor. And we've talked about this, but I think that Revlon, as far as um, drugstore lip products goes, has the best formulas and really good colors. And CoverGirl, in recent years, they've really had beautiful formulas, but they just still are not launching like colors that people wanna wear. And when I look at the 12 shades that are on Amazon, there's like this shade called Hustler that's a nude shade that does look pretty, but it's kind of light and it doesn't look like it'd be fully like a shade I would like. And then there's like, there's like a mauve, a pink, a deep blue, a like kind of like a darker berry, but it looks more purple than red. Like they just don't really put a lot of effort into these colors. There's like a bright pink and like, yeah, that's fun, but I just would love to see more wearable colors because out of all of them, like basically what I'm saying is I really only recommend the red because the rest of the shades don't look very nice. If there's something on there that you, that resonates with you, then I would highly recommend this formula. But at this point, I would just really recommend this red. And I wanted to get this video out because I think it's such a pretty red for the holidays. And I just am so impressed with the formula. I think it's so good. And I also wanted to mention that I compared it to my Smashbox lipstick. Um, these are the Always On Cream to Matte Lipsticks. And as soon as I tried this, it reminded me so much of this. Like, I do think it's a dupe. But I like the CoverGirl formula even more because... The Smashbox goes on in a really similar way where it's super pigmented and creamy. The Smashbox is even more pigmented than the CoverGirl, which is, I'll get into that, but kind of why I don't like it as much as this. It's so opaque where the CoverGirl has a tiny bit of translucency when you first apply it. So you can go over and build up that color to be like what I have it on now. But the Smashbox is just opaque in one coat. So there is, it's way less forgiving. Um, 
and this dries down so much quicker than this once they're both like dry dried down it feels like nearly identical on the lips but this one you have like two seconds until it dries down this you have like a full like 10 minutes I want to say like I could like move my lips kind of move the color and then I eventually it dried down this dries down right away but once they're on they look the same they feel the same and I was just talking about how I think these Smashbox lipsticks were always underrated um and now I think these CoverGirl ones are too. So I even like the CoverGirl formula more, but the Smashbox one has much nicer colors. Um, if you find a color you like in this CoverGirl formula, I really recommend it. I think this red is so pretty. And yeah, if you've tried these, let me know because I'd love to hear if anyone else has tried them because I just have never heard anything about them. Thank you for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one.